Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance with the tool review today. And today what I want to talk about are some tool belt attachments, or this company calls them tool belt holsters. It's holstery.com, uh, based in the USA out of Idaho. I don't know how old of a company it is. I think it's fairly new. Uh, I've had some of these products for some time, and then some of them are new and just came out. But I really like these, and I purchased all these myself. Uh, and I like them because they're easily adaptable, easily movable. You can put them on a regular belt that's on your pants if you want to. You can put them on a tool belt. You can put them on a tool vest. Uh, any way, any configuration you want to. And again, I can just change them in and out, move them around really, really fast. And that's what I need because I'm not a person who does one thing with one setup every day. You know, if you're a, a framer and you get your setup locked in, you know, you've got it exactly how you want it. You want everything to be in the same place every time. So you know exactly where it is. Well, I might frame one day I might go and be an electrician another day. I might do, you know, who who knows what. So my tools change, my fasteners change, how many fasteners I need changes, the materials I, I need changes. So to have some things that are easily adaptable like this, uh, that works really well for me and maybe it does for you. If you're a person who has the same exact setup day in and day out, I still think some of these products could be useful to you to add to that setup. But I'm going to go over the ones that I have. They have some other products that I don't have. Uh, but again, I think that they're all well made. I think that they're uh, thought out in mind and in, in the way that they work. And I'll go over each of these with you today. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the Square Master version 2. Uh, that's $25 on Amazon uh, again and I didn't mention but you can buy these products on Amazon I'll put links in the description below but you can also buy them directly from their website uh, it's holstery.com uh, but I'm a big fan of this old house I don't know how many of you have watched that show or grew up watching that show it's still on now and Tom Silva who is I mean a brilliant man uh, I, I love all his knowledge he's shared a lot with me over the years by me watching those shows he created for himself his own speed square holder. And I always thought that that looked really nice and I would like to have something like that because, you know, some pouches don't have a specific slot for it. And even if those pouches do have one for it, sometimes that's not the kind of pouch that you want for your other items. Uh, so I was, I thought that that was a really good idea and I like the way that it's set in there and it wouldn't fall out, you know, if you were bending over or whatever it was. Uh, there's also another version of something like this. I can't remember what the name is. I almost bought it several times, uh, but it was made of plastic. And the way that the belt clip was, I didn't really like it because it was just kind of like one little notch and I could see it sliding on and off. Uh, but this is made of aluminum. It's extremely light. Uh, it's also able to be swapped over from right hand to left hand. I don't think that was an option on the other version. Uh, but the thing about all these that I really like too is their clip. These all fit up to an inch and three quarter belt. They are starting to come out with some that will fit some larger belts. But I like how it fits on a belt exactly how it would, how it should as far as the size. Of course, this is dependent upon what size belt you have. This is exactly an inch and three quarter belt. But, I mean, it, it will not move once it's on there. So I don't have to worry about it. The way that that lips around, it won't slide up off of it. Uh, whereas you might have some pouches that have just a metal, kind of like a tension-held clip. And those, if you bend over, if you've done anything before, you know that those will come on and off. So all these, all these products that I'm showing you today have this same exact type of clip on it. But it works extremely well for holding. It says any 7-inch square speed square rafter square whatever you want to call it i can't contest to that because you know i obviously don't have every single speed square but all of them that i have they do fit in there fine now if you have one that has maybe an offset size here uh because sometimes they make some that have a little bit bigger lip uh maybe that won't work but i would say any standard one will but it slides into the holster and then this right here creates just enough tension that it will not slide back out without some help. Now, so if you're upside down or you do a lot of bending over, 
you know, it's not going to come out without you helping it uh, by pulling it out by your hand. It easily slides in and out. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I don't know how many of you like this four and a half inch Milwaukee Speed Square or Trim Square. I, I love this thing. It fits in there and it will work. Uh, so you can use that as well. It still goes down deep enough that it catches with the tension. You got quite a bit uh, to hold it up in here, but this is what I like to use most of the time. For one, it doesn't stick out near as far and it's all I need. So I like this setup right here. This is typically what I'm using uh, just for normal, you know, marking, laying out studs, things like that, because this is long enough and it's not near as big to where I don't have to use that. So again, this is the Square Master version two. Uh, if you are looking for something to hold a speed square, I think this is a really good product. The next product I bought was the Magmaster. This will run you $28 uh, on Amazon. You've seen that in some of my videos. I keep that actually in my MCT uh, when I'm not using it on my belt. And I use that here just to hold whether it's some fasteners or another tool or whatever. I show that in my what's the best use of the Vito small pocket video. Uh, extremely strong magnet. Again, it's the same thing. It's the inch and three quarter belt. But now they do offer a Magmaster XL for $30 that uh, will fit up to two and a quarter belt. So I think that they're starting to come out with some products now, and even the new one that I have, and I'll show you that in a minute when I get to the pouch, where you can get different sizes if you wear a larger belt. And then they also have an option now, like I said, I'll get to it when I get to the pouch, where I can change the back plate to either be an inch and three quarter belt or a two and a quarter belt. Uh, so if you wear a larger belt and that inch and three quarter won't work for you, uh, there's some options that they've got coming out or they do have some options now where you can get this product. This uh, is materials made of Kydex. Uh, I know nothing about that. It's a hard plastic. Uh, seems pretty durable to me. It seems extremely strong. Uh, this ba this uh, magnet is a rubber coated magnet and it's an N52 neodymium magnet. It has 50 pounds of pulling force, and it is an extremely strong magnet. I mean, you can just hear how, how much that that pulls. Like I can get to even right here, I can feel it pulling right now, uh, and it will hold quite a bit of weight. Uh, again, you could throw screws on here if you put it on your belt or in your pocket or whatever it is. It will even hold, I've got this three pound sledgehammer, has no problem holding that three pound sledgehammer, it will not fall off. I mean, that's how strong that this magnet is. Uh, again, you could throw that just on your belt that you're wearing in your normal pants. You can put that on your tool belt. You can put that on your vest. You can put it on your veto bags, all sorts of options uh, to use this. And I just think it's a great magnet. And for, for, for 30 bucks, it looks nice. It's got a nice clip on it, extremely strong. Uh, and compared to some of my other magnets that I bought with my Atlas 46 vest, this is a this is extremely cheap and well made, and I I really really enjoy this one. The next product is the Drive Master, and this is meant to hold drills, impacts, nailers, anything that you've got that's got a belt clip that's a tool, and this is a wider base on this. That's why they use it for that. Uh, I just I bought this in the last uh, six months. Uh, I've really enjoyed using this. I used to use the spider holster on my MCT bag, but now I put this on there and I'll clip, I'll clip my impacts onto it but like that, but it, it holds well. Whether you have 12 volt, you have 18 volt, or even something as big as a finish nailer. You know, anything that will fit within that slot. And it hangs and it works pretty well because it's it's deep enough that it, it won't just, you know, you'd have to move around quite a bit for that to get up at the height to be able to pop out and fall off. So again, this is the Drive Master and it runs $27 on Amazon. Fits the one, one and three quarter inch belt. It's also made of Kydex and this has a stainless steel clip.
The last product that I have is called the Joey Pouch, and it is like a chalk bag for climbers, maybe. I would say it's something along the lines of that, uh, but it's made out of 1000D Kodura on the interior, so that's going to hold up well with fasteners and things like that. It comes with two belt clips on this one. It comes with the inch and three quarter belt clip already installed, but they also give you the option to be able to change that out to one that will fit a two and a quarter. So again, like I said, I think that they're, they're realizing that a lot of people have thicker belts, so they are starting to come out with options for that. And I think that's a, a good move by the company. I think that's smart and it shows that they, they're innovative. Uh, they see a problem, they're gonna fix it. So I like that. Uh, but it's uh, basically a pouch. They show a lot of their videos where are on their pictures where they're got somebody just throwing a bunch of tools in it if they want to. So you could easily just clip this on your belt as a quick grab bag if you wanted to. Now I use my Vito Pro MP1 for this type of thing. So I, I won't ever use that for this most likely. I never say never, but more than likely not. But what I like about it is this feature where, you know, you can close the bag up and you can open it back. And so if I've got fasteners in here, you know, I do a lot of work where I might be turning a lot and sometimes stuff falls out. Or if I just want to, if I'm, if I'm going to always use these fasteners in this bag, I can put them in here and then I can store them in that bag and I don't have to worry about them falling out while I have them stored in a drawer or stored on whatever it is. And then if I want to access those, you know, I can just hold this thing and it opens right back up and I can get my hands back down in there to get to those fasteners. Uh, so again, I think that this is a pretty useful bag. This is $33 on Amazon. Uh, but I think it seems like it's made out of a good material. Uh, I, I can imagine using this if I'm running uh, staples in an attic, uh, you know, and you're crawling around over trusses and things like that. I could put the staples in this bag and zip it up whenever I'm moving. And then I also have the ability to open it and get those fasteners now out. So I, I think that this is going to be extremely useful. Again, I haven't put this to its test yet. But I can see that already that it's the expectations of what it is when I got it. I like that. Uh, but again, this is the Joey Pouch by Holstery.com. So they also sell a tape master, which is basically a like the driver master, but for tape measures. Uh, it's exactly really similar, except for the stainless steel clip is a little bit shorter. And I think it's tapered to help your tape measure come in and out because you can take the driver master and a tape measure will go on and off of it. So you could use that for that as well. If you have the driver master already, but you don't need to carry a driver around, you want to carry a tape measure around, that gives you the flexibility to do that. So you could do that if you wanted to. Uh, and then they also sell a hammer loop. Uh, it's not something that I use very often. Uh, I think that personally, the way that the magnet holds uh, hammers and stuff so well, I typically, if I'm going to hold a hammer, that's what I use just so I don't have the motion of pulling it in and out all the time. These are the products from holstery.com that I own that I really like, and I think maybe they might would be useful to you. It's kind of hard to show this stuff in action. And again, I, I'll have a video coming out hopefully soon. I maybe will shoot it this weekend of how I use tool belts and things like that, and I'll be able to show these more in use than that. Uh, it's hard to film, you know, using this by yourself. I've enjoyed all these. Uh, again, I haven't had a lot. I just got this a few days ago. I've used it a couple times already. I think it's great so far. Time will tell. Uh, as far as my other products, I really, really like these. And everybody else that works around me that's seen me use them and asked about them. As a matter of fact, some of them have bought some of these products since they've since I've been using them and they really enjoy them as well. So it's not just me, I don't think. So that's why I wanted to share them with you. I really like the flexibility of them. I like the fact that I can just move it from my tool belt to my tool vest to my MCT bag, back and forth, however I want to do it. Uh, I think it works great. I, I like the flexibility. I think also if you have some kind of standard setup that you wear each and every day, I still think some of these products work so well. Like the Magmaster, if you put that on your belt, you're going to get a lot of use out of that, whether it's just throwing some fasteners on there 
or throwing a, a tool that you pull on and off all the time. I, like I said, you can put a hammer on that thing if you want to. Uh, but as far as the company itself, they have a we'll make it right warranty. At the end of it, it says, if you ever have a problem, you let them know by emailing them and they're gonna make it right. I don't know if that's true. I haven't had a problem with any of my products yet. I do think it's kind of interesting that they sell replacement parts on their website. You know, you can buy the clip or a magnet or different things. Uh, so I don't understand that if, if something breaks, you know, and they're gonna make it right. Seems like they wouldn't sell replacement parts, but maybe, you know, I could see maybe if I wanted to buy some of these magnets separate, they sell these for $9. I could see screwing some of those on some toolboxes or on the wall or whatever. So I, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't used it, so I couldn't tell you how well the warranty process is. But I think that so far, all the products that they've made, I've enjoyed them. I, I look forward to them making more because, again, with them doing things like deciding to make a bigger belt clip, that shows me that they aren't just happy making their product and you just like it. They want to improve things if something's not working right for a few people. Uh, I really like that. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're up over a thousand subscribers as well. And I want to thank each and every one of you for all your support of the channel. I'm hoping to be able to shoot several videos this weekend. I've got hopefully a tool coming in the mail today that I think you guys are going to like. I'm going to review that for you as well. I also want to thank Will Hamilton wearing the Maxi Flex gloves. And you were right, buddy. Uh, way better than the Milwaukee gloves so far. I've been wearing these for three days now. And now I've got a big pile of Milwaukee gloves. They got to figure out what I'm going to do with them. But hope that y'all have a blessed day. Uh, hope that all is well. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys on the next video.